Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Now today I've got a scooter from Quickwill called the S1C Pro. This company interests me because most companies with a handful of products typically only focus in one area, like scooters or boards, but not these guys. They have four scooters, one which has three wheels, a EUC, a hoverboard, and a couple skateboards. They've got something for every electric enthusiast, so pretty excited to see what their latest model for 2021 can do. Before I dive into the review, I wanted to take a second and mention my recently launched website. Here you can find all of my scooter, bike, and board reviews. I've broken each category into commuter or off-road, and then again depending on price. I've got links to purchase and all the discount codes, so if you want to compare other brands before you buy, you should definitely check it out. I've got the link in the description. Every now and then I'm sent a scooter that performs much better than I expected, especially when it's a brand I've never heard of. And let me tell you, I know a lot of scooter companies. I spent about a week searching for every possible brand and found 79 companies. So when Quickwill reached out, I wasn't that excited thinking it was some knockoff company, but that all changed as soon as I stepped on and took off. It's hard to describe, but you can just tell when something's cheaply made and when it's not. Maybe it's a little easier for me since I've ridden so many, but this felt similar to the very popular Segway Max, one of the most popular scooters of 2020. And like the Max, the Pro has a bigger deck than most scooters. This seems to be a common theme now, looks like I'm not alone in wanting more standing room. It just makes the ride more comfortable. One of the biggest differences from the Segway are the 10 inch solid rubber tires. I gotta say, I'm not a big fan of these types of tires. They are much bumpier than air filled. Now it is nice not to worry about flats, so I get it, but generally you have to add shocks or something to counter the rougher tires if you want a smooth ride. And that's exactly what Quickwheel did. They placed a dual shock in the front and I tell you, it works very well. I only wish they would have done the same for the rear. It would have made the ride much smoother. But even with that front shock, the Pro is the smoothest scooter with solid tires I've tried. In the rear tire, there's a 500 watt hub motor powered by a 36 volt battery that can top the scooter out at 15.5 miles per hour. My radar gun tagged me a few miles above that, which is a nice surprise, I always good to go faster than what it's rated for. But if you do want to take it down a notch, it offers three speed modes. I kicked it back up to sport mode to test out the acceleration, which maxed out in less than a block. The Pro has one of the fastest accelerations I've seen for a commuter scooter in this price range, even with the weight of 46 pounds. The Pro is rated up to 265 pounds and has a range of 31 miles. As most of you know, I'm a little under 190 pounds and hit less than 16 miles on some flat and smooth trails on the highest mode. I was very impressed with the battery consistency. I was hitting over 16 miles per hour on the last battery bar and kept that speed until the battery finally gave out. Now, if you kick the mode to eco, you'll get closer to the 31 miles. I just like to go fast. And speaking of fast, the Pro does pretty good for hills around 10 to 15%, cruising at about 10 to 12 miles per hour. It's rated up to 25%. I'd say that's a bit optimistic, especially for my weight. I found a hill at that rating and was going so slow, I had to move back and forth to stay on the scooter. However, it did make it to the top. Coming down the same hill, I hit the single left side brake lever, which activates both the front and rear drum brakes. It's the first time I've seen one lever for both brakes. They set the rear brake to engage more than the front so you don't go flying over the handlebars. I actually really like this setup and wish more companies would do this. That's not the only thing Quickwheel did differently. This is the first scooter with an NFC card. The Pro will not work without it. There is a soft alarm that continues to beep until the scooter stops moving. The card easily scans from either side in less than a second. I really like this feature because I do a lot of errands and don't have to worry about locking my scooter. It's quick and easy and the card fits in my wallet. Another feature that is a first for me are the turn signals. Now most scooters after about 10 to 20 miles start to show some weak spots like loose screws or wobbly handlebars. I've yet to find that with the Pro. The stem is very solid. Once it's locked into place, it doesn't move. The handlebars are also very tight and the right height for my frame, I'm just under six feet. The grips are textured and felt nice to hold on to for long trips. Next to the grip, there's a rotary bell and the brake lever. The LCD screen lights up well in the sun and displays speed, speed mode, and battery life. The Pro easily collapses in a couple of seconds by undoing the latch towards the bottom of the stem, then connecting to the hook on the deck. It has an IPX5 waterproof rating and a four and a half recharge time with a one year warranty. I like it when scooter companies surprise me and this one did a lot. 
It's got some great pick up and go, goes faster than it's rated for, it's one of the better scooters for hills, and has a decent range of almost 16 miles. If you're serious about picking up a scooter around the six to $800 price range, I'd definitely consider this. If you want to check it out, I've got the link in the description. So that wraps up the review. If you found it helpful and enjoyed it, a like and subscribe would be awesome. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.